55 plus best retirement communities in Charlotte. Hey, this is Roger Holloway. Maybe you know me from YouTube. Type my name into YouTube if you haven't been there yet. Roger Holloway or go to rogerholloway.com. Well, I want to talk about a great resource that you can go to to get information about the 55 plus neighborhoods. Now, as a buyer's agent and with my other team members, uh, broker partners on my team, we can definitely connect you to each and any of these. But let's just talk about the geography. And then I want to tell you about a, a great resource to go to. I had a, uh, an email from a lady saying, asking me detailed questions about the 55 plus. You know, how many homes total? How far along are they? What are the floor plans? So I'm going to send you to a, a particular website that I think would be great and helpful for you. Now, Charlotte. 45 goes all the way around town. So where are these 55 plus places? Well, the first one I'm going to talk about is over here in the Palisades area, and it's called Regency of Palisades, but it's not 55 plus. It's what they call active living. They're targeting people that are your age and mine, looking for folks to enjoy that lifestyle, but it's not 55 restricted. What does that mean? It means that anybody can live there but probably will be mostly people that are looking for that lifestyle. They do have a really nice amenity center. It looks and feels and tastes and walks like a duck, but it's not 55 plus restricted. The second one we're going to talk about is Trilogy. So here's 45 right here to exit 16, which happens to be NC 16, which goes right into uptown Charlotte. Right up here is Trilogy Lake Norman. Really, that's the one to beat. I mean, it is magnificent. The Twin Mills Club it's really great. We'll look at some pictures here shortly. The next one right down NC-16 on this peninsula right here is imagery at Mountain Island Lake. So we have three lakes, Lake Norman, Mountain Island Lake, and Lake Wiley. And the Catawba River runs all the way through all three lakes and then further south to join into some other lakes as well. So we're going to talk about Trilogy. We're going to talk about imagery. We're going to talk about Crestwind. It's the only one with a Charlotte address you say, what, what do you mean? Well, you know, Trilogy Lake Norman has a Denver NC address. Uh, Imagery has a Mount Holly address. Uh, and well, Regency does have a Charlotte address, but it's not 55 plus. All right, so Crestwind's right here to exit 41. We'll talk about Crestwind Charlotte. Carolina Orchards is right here in the uh, South Carolina area called Fort Mill, right off of 77. Did you know that the state line runs right here. This is the North Carolina, South Carolina state line here, here, runs up through Lake Wiley and then across. We'll talk about Del Webb, Carolina orchards down here. Then there's treetops. If you come south uh, on 521, uh, uh, you'll see treetops kind of tucked back behind Carolina orchards. Now over here in Indian Trail, uh, just so you know, Indian Trail is right North Carolina. Indian land over here is South Carolina. Uh, there are two right here at Indian Trail slash Wesley Chapel. You're going to find Heritage uh, with Essex Homes and with Stanley Martin Homes, formerly Essex. And then you've also got nearby Pinnacle at Wesley Chapel. Now, those last uh, several that I mentioned, like seven, are actually uh, uh, basically, you know, technically 55 plus age restricted. Typically, in that scenario, 80% of the people are living. Uh, one of them is at least 55. So Regency of Palisades, Toll Brothers, lovely. Uh, and all these, by the way, I've thought about. I've, I dragged my wife, say, let's go look at it. Uh, and so they've got some new lots that are just opening. They're elegant. They're nice. It's Toll Brothers. A lot of people find that to be extremely desirable. Let's show you that. They've got new and they also have resale. Next one we want to talk about is Trilogy. Uh-oh, 55 plus places is asking me, do, you, do I want some help? Uh, by the way, 55places.com is where I want to send you. 55places.com. That's the site I'm on right now. Because when this woman requested information, uh, lots of information, I sent her there and I said, whatever you do, get your information. Now, come on, people. Trilogy Lake Norman, there's the Twin Mills Club right there. And that indoor pool opens up to the outdoor pool pickleball, all the courts. Amazing. But if you'll go to 55places.com, I better stop and just talk about the Twin Mills Club. When you enter in, there are a lot of places to gather, including right there. I love the Twin Mills Club. When you come in, there's the restaurant. It's called The Foundry. Then you have, again, places to gather. There's a two-sided fireplace, nice big table. I've eaten there more than once. There's a wine room in there where you can store your own wines and call for it at dinner. I mean, it's great. 
uh, banquet rooms. They have room spaces for meeting. This is like two sides. You know, you can divide this in half right there. There's a, a wall just like a ballroom in a hotel. Uh, this is the Clark's family kitchen. It's a demonstration kitchen. You can also have events in there. That's re remarkable. Uh, you've got plenty of uh, uh, workout spaces here. And then they've got places, for, you know, pool table, place to gather and watch the game. Uh, you know, kind of like a, a little shuffleboard, uh, you know, on not online, but, you know, a, a small table. So it's games, fun stuff. And that's that indoor pool that I mentioned earlier. It opens up to the outdoor pool for water aerobics, et cetera. And then uh, they've got locker rooms for men and for women, courts. It is just, it's just, it's the one to beat. In the back there, they have a place where you can rent uh, canoes or uh, it's just really neat where you can uh, also right here, uh, morning bagels and coffee. Uh, this is just neat stuff, guys. The thing that sets it apart, they've got a large staff there to help you. That's why that their monthly fees are higher, uh, getting close to like 360 now a month. Uh, and that in, because the amenities will always be there for you to enjoy. And of course, the houses are beautiful. Uh, what's not to love about Shea Holmes Trilogy Lake Norman? I want to get you there for sure. The third one on my list is imagery. Now, this is a computer rendering. Uh, it's not yet built as of this date, but it's right on the water, which is Mountain Island Lake. Imagery is a former site of an artist colony that the Becklers owned. And who were the Becklers? Well, think the Beckler Museum of Modern Art in Uptown Charlotte. So this is where all that's going to be. That's where Mountain Island Lake, you'll be, be able to see it, walk down to it. These two buildings here are buildings that came from the Beckler's original property. They're maintaining the integrity of that. They're redoing them. And if they did everything like they did at Treetops, they held to their word. These are going to be magnificent places to, to enjoy. And this is the, really the only water front, even though Trilogy Lake Norman mentions Lake Norman, it's still about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes away from Lake Norman. Imagery, very cool, from Lennar Holmes. Next one on my list is Crestwind. They've got their amenity center open now. It's very nice. Uh, it's right off of 485, exit 41. Uh, it's, it's really a gorgeous, you know, demonstration kitchens and all kinds of place, uh, places to, uh, to enjoy. Indoor pool, really beautiful outdoor pool as well. Uh, not to mention the places to, uh, that's that demonstration kitchen, uh, you know, for pottery right here. They've got a kiln back there in that room if you're making pottery. So it's just really neat, beautiful outdoor space. And that is Crestwind from Coulter Homes. Next one is Carolina Orchards. It seems like we're getting close to being sold out there. I mean, wow, it's pretty amazing. So they'll turn over their sales center uh, to the HOA, but this is right inside their large amenity center that has workout equipment, uh, indoor pool, uh, and you know courts. And this has got you know the mirror for uh, all kinds of classes. Uh, and so they've got their homes are beautiful. Tangerly Oak, Dunwoody Way, blah, blah, blah. They are really something special at Del Webb Carolina Orchards. That is one to beat as well. Then there's treetops. This is where Lennar took a disadvantaged camp, a camp for disadvantaged children, kept a lot of things like the um, outdoor amphitheater. Then they built this amenity center. We'll see it from another angle, but this is uh, meeting space on the top level and workout space. That's the top level meeting space, banquets and so on, weddings. And then down below, they have workout space. And that workout space down below uh, opens up to a really gorgeous pool. This is Lennar Treetops. They're getting, they're going to be done with new uh, homes, but there'll always be resale in there uh, as well. They did take those cabins that were used with the uh, camp and they redid them. This is where you come and get your mail. This is a lot of activities there. Uh, it's really a neat, neat place to, to enjoy. And that is Lennar Treetops. Now, this is almost done. This is Heritage down in Indian Trail. Uh, it's a smaller community, a smaller amenity center, and uh, but it's beautiful and it's a, a less expensive per month. And these are things you can find out if you go to 55places.com and uh, just look at floor plans, look at the, the overview, but do not fill out their form. Do not fill out their form. Go to rogerholloway.com. That's the form you want to fill out. Why? Because you know me from YouTube. And I'm going to be the one to get you to the finish line. I just want to get you to a place where you can get a lot of great information. Heritage just had a closing in there a few weeks ago. The homes are beautiful. It's uh, Stanley Martin Homes, which is the Essex 
uh, uh, Stanley Martin Homes bought Essex, a great regional builder. And then Eastwood Homes, a local favorite, is in there as well. That's Heritage. It's beautiful. Uh, if your kids, again, if you go back to that map and you say, hey, my kids are down here in Matthews, Mint Hill, Indian Trail, then you want to be looking very much at Heritage and Pinnacle at Wesley Chapel uh, to be in close proximity uh, to, to that scenario. So that's all good. Treetops, then Heritage, and now we're going to finish up at the Pinnacle at Wesley Chapel. This is Taylor Morrison. This is their, I mean, isn't that beautiful, that little swoop there? They've got two floor plans, and they've got a lot of possibilities in there. Uh, I just encourage you, you want to check out my playlist for each one of these. Like, for instance, there's a 55-plus Pinnacle at Wesley Chapel playlist, so you're going to see a number of videos. There's a 55-plus Heritage playlist. You want to see a lot of videos there. So, guys, give me a call at 704-345-3400, whether you're looking at Trilogy, whether you're looking at Imagery, whether you're looking at uh, Regency, whether you're looking at Treetops or Carolina Orchards or Heritage or Pinnacle or Crestwind. I didn't even mention uh, Bailey's Glen. That's another one to think about. If you have any questions about any of the other ones on 55places.com, I can't wait to see you in the next video and get a phone call from you. I'd love to hear your story. This is Roger Holloway with Jack the Real Estate Dog, and I'll see you in the next video.